This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Beep Danglish back with me. Thank you for joining us here. We're here to talk about Christmas. I love it. <laughs> Thanks very much for having you. And uh, a big thing at Christmas time in, in all small communities, big communities too, is their parade. So we're so happy to be talking about our parade and uh, the involvement with our Smith Falls Kinsmen and Legion, because you're members of both places. I am so. They're partnering together to put the parade on, and it's Saturday the 10th of December, in case anybody doesn't know, and a little story on that. We connect with the communities around us uh, to make sure we don't conflict with their date, like Perth is the week before, and I think Westport's coming up in a week or two, and so we kind of stay away from everybody else's date, and. Historically, we're the second Saturday in December every year. That's right, and you don't want to have to make the decision, am I going to go to Perth, am I going to go to Kempville, am I going to go here? Yeah, so it's nice that you guys coordinate that. And the other part of that is that uh, some people in the, still have their float from Perth the week before, and they come down and enter yes. our parade, so the people that haven't seen it, uh, that didn't go to Perth, get an opportunity to see it here, and we welcome everybody that would like to come. That's right, that's a great idea too. So uh, in terms of floats, you're looking for more floats? Always looking for floats, and they can call the Legion and uh, just say we're going to put a float in. But they do have to register at the community center when they do come. For our liability purposes, we have to know a contact person for each float that does come in, and they sign in at that point, and uh, we acknowledge that they're there, and, and then they get to form up and do their thing. Actually, and every year you have a theme. This year it's cowboys and cowgirls. It is. So bring out your Western attire, your saddles, and if you'd like to ride a horse, that's quite all right. They're allowed in the parade as well. So we're going to reach out and see if we can get some horse people there. And well, we usually do. That's the first thing I thought of, too, is we usually have so many horses. I can just imagine what they're going to look like this year. Yeah, we do have a couple of uh, riding stables around us that do support the parade and come out to not just ours, but that you see them in Perth, too. And they do a great job decorating the horses and themselves. And so. They're going to be right up their alley this year. Absolutely, absolutely. So let's talk about the route too. Okay, the route's the same this year as it been the, the last two years. Uh, so it forms up at the Youth Centre in uh, Smith Falls. Uh, the form up can start any time after 3 o'clock. The parade doesn't go till 5.30. And we, we allow that so that the floats that aren't finally got the finishing touches on them, they can bring the float to the parade and then they can add whatever they need that, that doesn't travel very well. And uh, the community center parking lot, we work with the town uh, and the arena staff, and they shut that parking lot down around noon so that it's wide open and we can line up five or six rows. Uh, and if necessary, and we have had it necessary the last few years, we use the uh, parking lot over at uh, the Croydon, or the old factory for Croydon there as well. So it leaves the arena at uh, 5.30 sharp, goes out onto Lansdowne, up lands down to Ellumsley, right turn all the way up to Beckwith, down Beckwith all the way over the bridge onto Brockville and ends up at the Settlers Ridge Mall who are partnered with us with lots of activities planned out there. Absolutely, you know, and, and the Samirs have been wonderful the last few years to have something going on at the end of the route as well too. Well that's it, it, it just doesn't stop when you get there at probably 6.30 or quarter to seven or whatever. There's lots of activities for kids. There's free hot dog and uh, hot dog and free hot chocolate for the little ones or anybody that would like to have one. There'll be some movies on there. There's going to be some under entertainment there. And they always come up with some outside displays. Last year they had live reindeer for the kids and that they could be back this year again. So it'll be a great opportunity. Now you're also with Remax. I and am. Remax is going to be busy that day as well. Remax. How are you going to be everywhere? <laughs> Well, I, I have to dodge out for Remax to f when the parade starts forming up at 12 when I clear out the parking lot. But yes, Remax has been a great sponsor as well. And as well, they're a great sponsor of Mountain of Food. So what they do on parade day, they pick us uh, an area of Smith Falls and they get all their agents out. And you'll see them going door to door, collecting from the residents. And they usually get a big trailer full. And as well as that, they are a drop-off center for Mountain of Food starting any time in December till right up till New Year's. So they're a great uh, supporter of the town and lots of activities, as well as Mountain of Food at this time of the year. They, and they really are, they really are. They travel around with their popcorn machine. <laughs> yes, uh, they normally had free hot dogs on the corner right in front of their office there and handed them out yes. and there'll be a group there, I'm sure that'll be doing something. 
That's right, that's right. So in terms of wanting to be involved in the parade, how do they get a hold of you? How do they register? Well, they can call me uh, if they like, and I can forward them information and my number, 613-880-4434, and I'll give that a little later on as well. But primarily call the Legion and uh, just the Legion main number, and uh, there's a person on staff there from 10 to 2 every day, and they'll fill you in on if you have any questions or if you uh, want to say you're in the parade, they'll jot you down so we have an, an idea of how many are coming. And then the second part of that is when you do form up at the arena, you're asked to go in and register your float so that we have a contact person to follow up with in case we need to. And uh, that way it helps us with our liability insurance that we can uh, you know, make sure we have everybody that's in the parade listed. And uh, there's also, uh, at the time, you'll see a, a little uh, disclaimer there because with the new rules that have come out and the permits for the parade, uh, we have to ensure that everybody's had ac 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 enough insurance, liability insurance, to go ahead with that. So anyways, they'll fix you up out there. They'll be right in the lobby at the view center. So that's usually your first stop when you come and they'll uh, affix your float with a tag of some sort that will indicate that you have registered so that we make sure that we do have a list of everybody there. Excellent. And then we follow up and we send out emails the next year and say here's what's happening and uh, so it's, it's for their benefit as well as ours. For sure, for sure. Now while I have you here, you are part of our Your TV Smith Falls family as well. Uh, you've been here for years on Monday nights doing bingo. That's correct. Over 30, I don't know over how many. 30? Are, over 30? <laughs> that's a long time. I was here when the office was over in, in the other little mall in there. In the little Sears Mall, we call yeah. it, yeah. yeah. So, and we've done lots of activity, and we partner with Kojiko on our uh, local TV bingo on Monday nights at 5.30, and we give $1,600 out every Monday night to somebody in the area. And we have partnered with the Brockville Kinsman as well, and they distribute cards down there and, and uh, make some money for their club as well. We also distribute in Perth and in Kempville. And from that proceeds, because we are giving uh, some money away out of town and making revenue from out of town, we donate a bursary to each of the high schools in Kempville and in Perth uh, because we are taking some revenue from their town. So there's a student up there that really benefits as well as in Kempville. That's awesome. 30 years. Over 30. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. And that's every Monday night. Every Monday night. That's right. And people can get uh, their cards at, uh, we have it, it, at Circle yeah. K's at all, all three uh, towns. Yes, yeah. all the Circle K's in, in the, the uh, locations, as well as in Smith Falls, we have them at... Uh, Queen Street Convenience. Yes, Queen Street Convenience. Scott's Corner Store. Scott's, that's the one at the top of the hill there. That's yeah. right, yeah, yeah. In Perth, we've got the Circle K. Kempo, we've got McEwen's Gas Bar, Fast Eddie's, and Circle K. That's right, and uh, we'd like to thank them merchants because we couldn't do it without the uh, bingo. And it's been running for uh, as long as we have uh, a little history of that. We took it over from Bob Joy when the Junior B Settlers. So that's going back a lot wow, of years, yes. mm -hmm. and uh, the Kinsmen picked it up when uh, the settlers folded back then, and so we've been doing it ever since then. Wow, amazing, amazing. And well, even longer, we've been having Christmas parades here in Smith Falls too. So ours this year is uh, Saturday, December, uh, yeah, December 10th. Yep. It starts at five o'clock, but you're gonna be starting a lot earlier in the day to get it organized. Yes, the last couple of years, as we talked about a little earlier, was pouring rain and freezing cold. So oh, yes. we're hoping for a little bit better, but it went on and we had a full slate of uh, floats last year, even though it was raining and going on. So people certainly enjoy getting out this this time of the year, no matter what the weather's like. That's right, despite the weather, we're out there. It's, it's Christmas time, we'll take it. <laughs> the only other thing, uh, there's no handouts in the parades for candy, and that's for two reasons. Safety, uh, no little ones running out to get a candy or anything. And secondly, this time we still don't know what's going on the, with COVID and the other two viruses that are going around. So we're playing it on the safe side with no handouts. That's right, that's right. Well, it's good to do that for sure, for sure.